Years later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Transformers the Movie. It was released on August 8th, 1986. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What? Year is it? Talk about this film. I just want to preference that I'm not really the biggest Transformers fans of all time. Like, even when the Michael Bay movies were coming out when I was younger, I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool, but I'm not really invested or was I like, interested in it. So, when this film, the animated one, the very first, like, I guess, theatrical release, came to its like 25th anniversary, I was like, or 35th, I was like, okay, this is a chance and opportunity for me to maybe understand why people like it, maybe get, you know, into it. And I guess I kind of get it. Like, I'm not really into the whole robot mecha stuff. And that's what these Autobot car Transformer are. And I'll be honest right now, I don't remember what happens in this film because it's essentially just robots fighting each other, like these two different types of robots or whatnot, Autobots or whatever they're called. They have like a rivalry up in space. There's not one time that they actually go down to Earth, at least I recall. I don't know if my brain just shut off when I was watching the film, but I think that's what happened. My brain just completely shut off because I was like, you know, this is entertaining, but I'm not really feeling it. And I thought this movie would get me into the Transformers films, but it looks like it, it just it just isn't. Maybe it's just me, but I just was not able to be enthralled with the world and the characters like i didn't find any of the characters memorable the only one i recognized was uh what's that one? Oh god i'm horrible at names anyways one of them dies and it's the one that everyone knows in the michael bay movies all of them stood out by their design and colors and it looked cool but it's like i don't know wasn't feeling it but the one thing i was feeling and i think the driving force of this film and what helps it is the music the one song i knew coming into was the theme when that shit came on i was like okay this is getting hype and then like the first 20 minutes it's just basically a music video with transformers like image and and like video and it was amazing and it stops and then it comes back but the music is what really helps it it is really damn good so the film takes place in 2005 which is kind of fun i mean this film was released in 86 and uh you know 2005 i was only five years old did not look like this granted it is in space i'm always surprised by the animation of movies way back in the day like even like disney old disney stuff i'm like they had to like hand draw this and it was like a lot of hard work like you could still hand draw animation but like it's a lot more easier just combining both digital and hand drawn faster it's still a lot of hard work and watching this film and older film press that it looks good and there's not like a single moment in this film or frame that i noticed oh god they had to cut corners here and there the animation still holds up like, it's still like yeah this is good whoever i don't know who animated this probably should have done more research but they did a pretty good job not noticing how old it was and how 35 years later it still holds up and then this is the point in the video where i'm gonna try to remember the characters and the plots because again my brain just shut off and i was not invested in this movie at all it was cool seeing all these robots and autobots fight each other in space but i don't know if it's just transformers or the Michael Bay movies that has a sour taste in my mouth whenever I watch anything Transformers. We got Bobo B, alright? Obviously, everyone knows him. We've got... Who else you got? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Optimus Prime. There we go. He died in, like, the first 10 minutes? Yeah. How can I forget that? You got, like, Megatron. You got, like, Spike, Ultra, and J Jazz? Who the hell is Jazz? What? I don't remember any of these characters. But, anyways, move on. I'm gonna end this video on... I'm gonna try to understand why people love Transformers because as I was watching this movie, I don't know, like, I'm not really into it. And I do plan on watching the other ones and making videos about them so hopefully my mind changes but as of right now watching this 1986 animated film i guess the reason why people love transformer is because of the the mecha stuff the autobots the way they transform right because they can basically transform anything like there's this kid character this little boy character whose name i forgot about and he has like an autobot as a pet and like you know he runs with him one up but eventually he's not transformed into like a car you know right up with him and the little stuff like that i'm assuming is, is the reason as to why people love transformers and you know lack of anything like writing acting like if there's a good story to a movie or whatever the people are gonna love it this has a basic story things happen and it's like, okay yeah things have just happened there's fights in space autobots fighting each other for something i forgot about man I, this is gonna be a horrible video i apologize to anyone who's watching this video and who is a huge fan of this movie i ain't gonna just say about it but i believe that is the reason why with you know the right writers a good story good animation and just cool designs it's the reason why transformers is so damn good and there's probably like other mediums i think there's like an animated show and then obviously those michael bay movie comics so there's a long history with transformers and that's why i think it has a following why people love it it's because of the mega transformation and how you could be a friend of transformers the heart of it all you know stuff like that it's like a superhero film like you know these are superheroes these are out of out of the world kind of characters but why do we love them because they're just good characters they're written well they've got heart to them it's probably gonna be the same thing for transformers as long as you make it interesting cool design and you know well written characters then most people are gonna like it so in the end transformers the movie 35 years later it still holds up but i don't think so far the transformer series is for me yet but uh 
uh, it, it honestly feels more like a kids movie because it really just is battles and battle is really what it is so it holds up I enjoyed it but it's not necessarily for me it doesn't really intrigue me or get me excited so that's it for me this has been the world so far and thank you for watching